Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the white flies. Now, if you remember a few weeks ago, we had actually done this backyard garden of mine and suddenly I just am walking one day and I'm looking at my plants and whisking my hands through it and suddenly I see these white flies just scattering everywhere. So I thought it's time to talk about these white flies and let's look at it and then we'll look at a way to eradicate them from your garden. My name is Alice and I'm the Red Soil Gardener. Let's deal with this problem. Now, I have a problem with white flies. As I mentioned, my backyard, I thought everything was very smooth, only to discover that these white flies are actually eating all my leaves. Now, the thing about white flies, they're tiny little insects that actually what they do is that they come and they settle behind, underneath the, the leaves. Now, they are sort of more or less related to the mealybug and the aphids. They have the same technique. So the only thing you can do is actually to try to get rid of them. Otherwise, they will kill your plant. Now, the thing about um, the, this white flies, like the, similar to the mealybug, is that what they do, once they do settle onto the leaf of your plant, they pierce it and they drink all the juices. Now, what happens is you will get your leaf suddenly going yellow. And what happens is that the leaf is not able to uh, carry out photosynthesis. So then the leaf drops and it dies. Now, the other thing about these, um, these white flies, they do tend to go to, they do get attracted to very um, uh, plants with new shoots because there's more juice in them. And then the other thing they're attracted to is when a plant is weak and its defenses are weak, then you tend to get these white flies going for that plant. Also, what I've noticed with these white, uh, uh, these white flies is that there are certain plants which they host on because not all the white flies would attack a euphobia, for example, but they do attack a certain type of plant. And if you have that plant in clusters, they will get attracted to it. Now, how do you know that you have these white flies is once you do as we did before, you just put your hand through the plants is you'll see the scattering of white little snowflake flake looking um, dust. And that is actually the white fly. Now, the other thing is if you turn your leaf upside down, what you will find is that that's where they actually live and they like plants where they can be in the corner of the, of the veins. And so this is another way to recognize them. Now, what happens like the mealybug is that once you do get this infestation of the white flies and they are sucking your juices out of your leaves, what happens, it produces honeydew. Now, honeydew, again, is like we said with the mealybug, it is a sweet, watery substance that is excreted by these flies. And what happens is that if the honeydew sits on your leaf, what you will notice is that when you do touch your leaf, it does get very sticky, and then you know you've got a problem because what happens with honeydew, it is a, a fungal disease and you will get soot, black soot on your leaves and it will be sticky. Now what happens is that once you have this, your plant will die. So now, another thing as we know with the mealybug is that once you do have an infestation, is the honeydew is what ants love. 
So what they do is like with the mealybug, they go in there to protect the flies because they are symbiotically living with that fly to get the honeydew to be able, uh, so they do protect the flies. Now, basically the female uh, white fly will actually lay about 400 eggs and that is a lot that can cause an infestation. Now again, as I repeat myself, if you do know that you have an infestation, you will get a sticky substance on your leaf and you know you've been attacked because you will get a fungal disease called soot. And if you look at the back, what happens is when the female does lay the eggs at the back, is that they lay it in a circular pattern and once you see that, then you know you're under attack uh, uh, by the white flies. Now what happens is, once the eggs do hatch, first of all, they are yellow and then they do turn brown and they do hatch. Those little babies, what they do, they don't have legs, but they sit there again and suck the juices out of your leaf. So really, in the, uh, with the white flies, although they are not conspicuous that you can see, they really do cause havoc on your vegeta vegetation and your foliage and your plants in the end. So now what do you do once you do have this infestation? Where does it come from if you've never had it before? Now, what you should do is actually when you do go to your greenhouse or you go to a garden centre or like here in Kenya we go to our roadside nurseries, when you do bring that plant into your environment, do check it, the back of it, of the leaves. If it does have white flies, do spray it and again what we said, use your neem oil pest, as a pesticide and do your mix and then do spread, uh, spray it because it will go in the end. However, if you don't spray it, what happens is you start bringing that plant, if it's an indoor plant, into your sitting room, you're going to infect all the other plants. So, as I repeat, get your plant from your garden center or roadside and isolate it. Check it, make sure it doesn't have the white flies. Spray it with a neem oil or neem pesticide. And then once that infestation is done, you bring it into the house. In that way, you don't infect your other plants. Now, another thing is that um, these white flies don't like cold temperatures. So if your, if your plant in the summer or in the fall is that you're going into your overwinter preparation and you do have the plants outside with the white flies. Once you bring those plants into your house or into your uh, room or if you're doing your overwinter preparation, taking it to your garage or warm place, what happens is they like warmer weather, so they will still infect all your plants. So do always keep it in check. Okay, so now what are you going to do with these um, white flies? So as I suggested, do your neem oil mix. And in a lot of these greenhouse, uh, these garden centers in Europe, they have now, uh, do have a mixed solution of neem oil or neem pesticide. So you could use that. The other thing what you could do is just use water and a bit of dish uh, washing liquid in it and spray your plant. Because the beauty of having that um, liquid soap is it does pull these, uh, these insects off your leaves. The, the whole point of having a soapy water is that it'll drain these white flies off your leaves or off the foliage. So we have neem oil, we have soapy water, and then the last thing you could do is just get a hose pipe and spray it, spray these insects, you know, go on the underside, spray it with water, because that should be enough to dissipate these white flies. 
The most important thing is, again, if you're using your neem oil or your soapy water, it's always best to do it not when it rains, because it'll just slide off, but always do it just and not when you're expecting it to rain. But do it in the morning, in the evening. Also with neem, do it in the morning or the evening before the sun, because if you do spray your leaves with neem oil during the hot sun, you may damage your, your leaves. But it should be an evening ritual where you walk around with your hose pipe or your soapy water and your, or your neem oil and just spray your foliage and you should be good to go. So thank you so much, fellow gardeners. Don't forget to like and share and please do sort out this problem because from what I saw in my backyard, they do spread very quickly. And don't forget to press that notification button and also introduce this to all your friends and family. It means a lot to us. And don't forget that we're in Instagram. I always do post, I always do answer. We're on YouTube. I love the comments you send me and I always do try to answer those. And um, have a lovely day and don't forget to spray your plants. Keep an eye on the foliage and especially the underside. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.